RBB Morning Show, the coach, mentor, marketing, and social media strategist you need each and every morning. RBB, a live morning talk show that gives you the ability to get the coach you need, strategist you wish you could afford, social media manager and strategist, marketing strategist, project manager, certified OBM, VA, business startup strategist, profit strategist, web strategist, email funnel strategist, sales page strategist, PR strategist, time management, mindset, and overall business development strategist. We answer it all. With over 25 years of business experience, both in corporate and small business worlds, we really can answer it all. Morning, everybody. I hope everybody's having an amazing day so far in that you are ready for the last week in October. I can't believe it's the last week in October. Um, We are getting ready for, obviously, the end of the month. So I hope everybody's prepping for it. Today, we're going to talk about TikTok. Um, And TikTok is a very interesting um, platform at this point, and it's new, and a lot of people don't really understand how to do it. I did a post on this on the community last week. Yeah, I think it was last week. I did a post on this on the community last week, and I wanted to make sure that you all really kind of were taking a look at it. Uh, Gary V is finding a lot of success there, and I was like, okay, I'll check it out. I set up an account months ago, but I hadn't started doing anything. And months ago, I did a video, but it was a video of art playing guitar at a gig. It wasn't, I got a lot of interaction on it, whatever, but it was a stupid video. So I decided week before last that I would do a video. And I did a video on my way to that networking event that I attended a few hours away. And I got a decent amount of interaction. Not great, but not terrible. Meh. And then I did another one on my way to my coaching uh, mastermind on Thursday. And it's not stupid. I'm not doing uh, music over the top of it. I'm not dancing. None of those things that all of us that are not millennials um, think that TikTok is. I just talk to the camera. And this is this this is the post that I just posted for you. Um and I got two leads off of it. And I literally talked for like a minute. Me, yeah, I did a 60 second video. So I think I maybe didn't talk for the whole minute for each one of them. So easy. Um, just sharing about, I, I didn't even say who I was and what I did, who my business was, nothing. I didn't use hashtags. I mean, Seriously, it was a basic video and got interaction off of it. So I will, as of today, I will be investing and spending a bit of time on TikTok um, and exploring it a bit more. So I will be posting a bit on the community about that and how to use TikTok and what's awesome about TikTok, what I don't like about it, all of those things. So be watching me this week. And I'll talk about it a few times here on the show. I'm not going to talk about TikTok all week long on the show, I promise. Uh, (laughs) I'm just talking about it a little bit today. So we're always talking about social media improving your business, or I am, and the struggle that we all have with social media. And we're going to be talking about those social media struggles uh, all week long and what that what that really means and and why people are having such a hard time with it. And honestly, it's the time investment. I mean, there needs to be such a massive time investment now. Um, For a few years, you've been able to get away with post and fly and and really not have to interact too much. Have great hashtags, have great posts, and you can walk away and not do anything with it. You can't do that anymore. Um, It's just not viable. But that also makes social media less viable for small businesses. So what are some ways that you can combat some of those issues? Um, We've been talking about writing amazing content. That is always going to be number one, but it needs to not be on social media. That is the only place that it is. It needs to be in multiple places, Um, a website, Pinterest, uh, YouTube, things like that. So How can we social media proof our business? That's really what we're going to be focusing on this week. And I hope that everybody is ready to really dive in um, and talk about all of that this week and see what 
is going to really protect your business, grow your business, and help you get those leads. That's always something that all of us are looking for. We're all looking for consistent leads and growing our business. That's a whole reason why we post on social media. I mean, some of us may post for some fun stuff, but mostly 99% of the time as a small business owner who cares about the fun stuff, we're really looking to grow our businesses. Um, and we need to get to that point on that social media isn't the be all end all of where our lead generation comes from. Uh, a few weeks ago, I talked about the 60-20-20 rule. We're going to talk about that again today and how to implement that on things like forums, not just my own forum, but forums all over the place. Um, how to truly get moving and get your Pinterest situated and strong. We're going to talk about that this week. We're going to talk about your YouTube game. If you don't have one, why you should. Your TikTok game, obviously, we're talking about that a little bit today. I'm going to talk a little more about it. Um, we're going to talk about your Instagram and Facebook game, your Facebook group game. You need to be super mega purposeful and super mega effective for every single thing you do in order to not be uh, wasting your time. And, and that is a pretty big deal is spending a lot of time. The more time you invest in your social media, if you're not doing it correctly, you're just wasting time in your business and doing busy work for the sake of doing busy work. And we want to get away from that um, and really focus on doing some really strong, very purposeful, amazing things with your business. So let's talk a little bit more about TikTok. TikTok is like the algorithm behind it is completely and totally different from Facebook and Instagram. Facebook and Instagram are pretty much the same. Not quite, but enough to say that they're pretty much the same. Um, good morning, Brenda Lee. So TikTok decides based on your content what to boost and what to share. So are you relevant with your content? Is it content that people are going to want to see? They will boost it. So amazing content is your number one key here. Um, there are hashtags. TikTok has hashtags. Um, but you want to explore the hashtags specifically within TikTok. You don't want to use the standard ones you would necessarily use on Instagram. Some of them do work. So I'm not saying all of them are bad. But TikTok really kind of has its own hashtag game. So you want to explain, expand that. And TikTok introduce a new group of hashtags every day that are the popular ones for the day. So definitely be exploring those. That's huge. That Okay, so number one, ladies, I just said that TikTok does not have some weird algorithm based on your follower count. It is based on the quality of your content. You got to up, up your content game or, I mean, you got to up your content game. That's exciting. That shouldn't be scary to anybody because quality content is what should draw people to you. Um, TikTok also has soundtracks and they do have music and all of that. And if you use those, I would use them sparingly. But if you use them, that helps boost your content. Super easy to stick one of their songs and do something with it in your content. Well, okay. They also have special effects. And anything using our newly released special effects will also up your content or like get your content seen more often. Some of these are stupid. For those of us that are not millennials, we'll find all of this stuff retarded for the most part. <laughs> um, and I won't, I, I won't knock that. I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing with it. But if it helps you get seen and it gets you potential clients, go for it. That's all I got to say. Um, and also, another thing to get your content seen more is live streaming. How easy is that? How easy is it to live stream? Just hit that little record button and go. Um, and I am going to here, I'm setting myself up. Uh, I'm going to record a TikTok video, tell you when I'm starting and when I'm stopping, so you get an idea of the type of things I am putting on here. Um, so, yes, I'm slightly distracted while I get this set up. Yeah, and of course, it's starting to play something. And I'm going to use a goofy effect. I don't 
like the Halloween effects. Okay, we'll have lots of me on the screen because I don't like the Halloween ones. That bugs me. And I'm not wearing a costume or anything. Um, oh, I'll use some goofy colors. How's that? So I've started um, to do something. I've hit an effect. So I've got goofy colors going. And I'm going to record a 60, 60 second video. So here you go. One, two, three. Good morning, everybody on TikTok. How are you? I'm over here on the RBB Be Boss Girl Morning Show, and I am talking about using TikTok today and the benefits of using TikTok for your business. So today and all of this week, we're going to be talking about social media and how to use them, how to be more effective. The 60-20-20 rule that I teach everybody for dominating on Facebook groups, how to dominate and social media proof your business using Pinterest, YouTube, and forums. And forums are, believe it or not, they have been huge for years in different industries. They need to come back in our industry because women us women are missing out by pigeonholing ourselves to Instagram and Facebook. Believe me, forums are huge. Um, I've gotten four clients and four leads in the last month using forums. So we're going to be talking about social media proofing your business and upping your content game this week. Join us over on the Be Boss School RBB Morning Show on Facebook. And I'm done. And now I'm uploading the video. I'm not adding any hashtag. Oh, maybe I will add hashtags. So I am going to add um let's see. I'm going to add a social media hashtag. I'm going to see if there's a forum hashtag. So yes, I'm walking you through exactly how I'm using TikTok right now. And they do have a forum hashtag um, and I'm going to talk about social media proofing and I don't know that this will and social proof no nope, social media proof doesn't have a hashtag I'm trying to choose one that does so I'm doing that and then I'm posting that's all I had to do. And there, I've posted something on TikTok. It'll upload. It's uploading now. And I will get a huge amount of interaction. So something else that's nice about TikTok is once you do that, you could now post that video to your Instagram by doing that. How easy is that? You've now just done an Instagram story. You've done a TikTok story. Um, and you're able to use multiple things. And you're more likely to get seen. How? I mean, that was quick and easy. It took me, what, a minute and a half between hashtags and setting it up. And I'm explaining it to you as I go. This is super easy, ladies. Um, and I know that this will get seen lots and lots and lots of times. And it's not going to be a problem for me. Um, so. Hopefully it'll get me a new client and I'm not going to complain about that either. So, or new watchers here on the morning show. This is how you explore what's going out there. Uh, take a look at what's coming and what's new. And as we grow our businesses, this is huge is to know what's and staying on top of what's new and what's going on out in the social media world. So if you have any questions, always drop them below. I look forward to talking to you later, ladies. Have an amazing day. Remember to rise, become and be everything you can today. Bye bye. RBB Morning Show, the coach, mentor, marketing, and social media strategist you need each and every morning.